in cricket, South Africa's senior women's team are locking horns with Pakistan in a historic series in Karachi from Friday. It's a new era for the team, which has seen the retirement of star players and the appointment of a new captain in Laura Wolfart. New several, now several new faces are getting an opportunity to stake a claim for a spot in the starting lineup in testing conditions. CDT and CSWC has a story. South Africa will embark on their first ever tour to Pakistan in a series that includes three T20 internationals and three one-day internationals. It's also the start of a busy summer of cricket for the Proteas, who will return home before facing New Zealand on South African soil, an opportunity that head coach Hilton Mareng is relishing. It's an opportunity again to start our season well, and we know it's not going to be easy, so as soon as we get into Pakistan, and we settle, I think for us it will be key to acclimatize the conditions, to be able to compete because, uh, I mean, you don't want to leave anything to chance on those kind of conditions. So I think everyone is looking forward to experience Pakistan for the first time. The vastly experienced Sine Lis, who stepped down as national captain this month, has played in Pakistan before and is looking forward to playing cricket after a longer than usual off-season. Yeah, obviously we were in Islamabad when we, I went there in March. The conditions were great for, for batting. We played on roads. Not sure what we're going to get in Karachi. Um, but I think overall the, the people there were extremely friendly and nice and, um, you know, very hospitable. So that was awesome to see. And I think, you know, I think whenever they get people over, they treat them right so that we can come back. So very excited to go over there and experience the culture and just be in Pakistan. There's a lot at stake for the South African national team who will need to hit the ground running ahead of Friday's first T20 encounter in Karachi. It's a very uh, important tour in the sense that uh, it's a qualification for the uh, 50 over World Cup. It's pulled up towards the T20 World Cup. So each and every player want to be in those squads. So it's, it starts here with Pakistan. Now the opportunities will be given and as the performances come, we move forward. But for us as a team, we need to be and we want to be consistent in our performances going forward. This historic first tour of Pakistan signals a new chapter for South African women's cricket, who after becoming the first team from the Rainbow Nation, men's or women's to reach a senior World Cup final, will be eager to build on their momentum, albeit minus a few stalwarts. Their hunger and desire to reaffirm their status as world title contenders will be put to the test against an opposition who on home soil will prove more than a stern test. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Johannesburg.